Before my scientific training, I was a surgeon for a number of years, so I was operating on patients. I went back to school, did a PhD, and that seemed to be the point of no, no return, and uh, I got more and more involved in scientific research. The interest of my laboratory uh, primarily focuses on tissue regeneration by stem cells. The premise was, uh, was quite straightforward to see if we can use stem cells to regenerate a joint, uh, such as a patient's knee joint or hip joint, and uh, to then use stem cell derived joints to replace metal uh, as, as a pro prosthesis that are utilized today. Uh, some of our projects are related to stem cell biology, so we are curious about how stem cells behave, uh, what signals they need to proliferate, to differentiate, how they influence other cells. The other aspect of my lab is really translational to see if we can utilize the stem cells, uh, postnatal uh, adult stem cells in particular, uh, towards the regeneration of tissue and organs. And we really use uh, highly interdisciplinary approaches. So in my lab, there are stem cell biologists, there are uh, biomaterial scientists, chemical engineers, uh, mechanical engineers. Uh, Dr. Yang will keep the tissue in a the, in the, uh, larger culture dish with collagenase, with enzymes, and wait for one hour, and that will go back to the incubator so that uh, when the stem cells are freed from the tissue, then she's going to collect the stem cells. About 80 million uh, individuals in the United States have arthritis of, of, different, uh, of different kinds and different uh, degrees. Uh, met metallic uh, joints are the current norm of treatment. So metallic joints work out reasonably well in the short term, but not in the long term. So the average life of metallic joints is about 10 to 15 years. And the premise for using stem cells to regenerate uh, knee joints, hip joints, and other joints is that the stem cells would be able to integrate and remodel with the patient's existing structures so that they would last forever.